right, so I got a question for you. Would you prefer to buy on Amazon or would you prefer to buy on Google Shopping Feed? It's a trick question. The answer is Shopify. You prefer to buy on Shopify. How is this not clear? I have an entire channel about Shopify. You should have seen this coming. It's probably because you're not subscribed. Hello Shopify world, my name is Andrew from EcomExperts.io and this week we are reviewing another Shopify app. That's it. Um, we're reviewing the Google Shopping Feed by oh. Simprosis Info Media. <laughs> These guys, I mean, you know what they say about keeping your name short? They got this covered. Uh, they have a 4.9 out of 5 reviews. Uh, which is actually really impressive considering they have like 850 reviews and they have about 12 pricing plans. So uh, enough talking, let's go to the back end to see what this app does. Okay guys, the app is installed and we are on the Get Started tab. But first, what exactly is Google Shopping? So Google Shopping is a service provided by Google, big surprise formerly known as the product listing app. It allows customers to search for, view, and compare products. These products are displayed when a customer uses Google to search for a specific products. So they can appear in the main search engine result page, or they can under the shopping tab. All right, let's take an example. When a customer types in beautiful black dress into Google, they may see sponsored ads appearing at the top of the page. And if the customer selects the shopping tab, they will see a page which shows a list of products with prices, ratings, etc. To start using Google Shopping, retailers need to use two platforms, basically the Google AdWords and the Google Merchant Center. And Google Shopping Feed helps you with that. You just need to link your Shopify store with the Merchant Center and the app does its job on its own. So no need to submit a feed URL and set fetching frequencies and all of those other annoying settings. There is another benefit. Product updates don't have to wait for Google to fetch the feed. Updates are pushed by the app to the Google Merchant Center within a few minutes of the actual update. All right, let's start using the app instead of just talking about it. On this tab, we should connect the Google Shopping Feed app with the Merchant Center account. Just click on the blue button that says a login with Google and a new window appeared. Choose the uh, account which is linked to your Merchant Center, give the necessary permissions, and we are back to the app. On a new window, we should choose the Google Merchant Center account. So simply click choose your Merchant Center ID and from the drop down menu, select the account you want to link your shop with. Uh, we only have one, so click on it and confirm your account. The app is verifying the domain in Google Merchant Center and one minute later, the domain is verified. So now we are in the shipping information verification and we didn't set any shipping rates in the Merchant Center. The app doesn't set this automatically, so we need to go to the Merchant Center and do it manually. All right, so we are in the Merchant Center now and in the top navigation menu, click on the settings and then on shippings and return. Uh, we are on the shipping services tab and from here you can click on the plus blue button. Give your service a name, let's name it anything. Your customers won't really see this. So you can go with something easy to remember. We will go with free shipping for US and for the country we will choose the United States. Also, you need to fill out transit details and then scroll down and pick plus at the bottom of the page in the shipping rates section. On this new window, we can choose between two filtering options. We can go all products or we can filter products by shipping label. We will go with all the products and our rate will be called free shipping. Bam. Since we are going to offer free shipping for all our products, we will click on create a single rate for all orders. We will leave it as a fixed rate and for the amount we will write zero dollars and then we continue and we save. And that's basically it. Let's go back to the app and click on test shipping rates again. Uh, we done this step properly and we are on the quick sync settings page right now. On this page you can filter the products you want to sync with Google Merchant Settings. You can choose the important products or you can choose exact collections. We will go with collection. So click on it and 
Oh, a new additional option appeared. We don't have automated collections at the moment, so we will choose a manual collection from the drop-down menu. Uh, we will choose the common dev issue collection. We will leave all other options as is, and we will click on sync. So our products are syncing right now. We have around 50 products, so this process shouldn't take too long. All right, our products are all synced and submitted. Me. Uh, we got a message that if we are submitting products for the first time, it will take up to 10 hours until the products are shown as submitted on the app. All right. With the Google Shopping feed, you can sync your products with not only Google, but take this, you can also sync it with Bing and Facebook and just in a few clicks. So that's pretty cool. The app is frankly a major time saver and very effective at placing products high up on Google uh, if your marketing strategy kind of set it up with the SEO, of course. Also, the ability to bulk edit products will save you tons of time. All right, that was it. By now, we're starting to have a solid collection of Shopify app review videos, so make sure to check out all the other apps. Make sure to check us on Facebook and LinkedIn as well because we post daily about a Shopify news and we make it so brief so that you can title read. Can you imagine that? You don't have to click, you can just title read. And then you will know all kinds of weird and fun updates about the Shopify platform that frankly you should know, but you're too busy shipping your million dollar products because you're making so much money because you subscribe to our channel. You see that? That was a passive aggressive message. I love you all. See you in another Shopify app video review.